Well, tomorrow morning when you drive to work or ride to school, you'll probably see it. We're talking about litter. Many Mobilians say they are seeing more and more of it at a time that we should be showing off our city to the international business world. Many now say the time has come to stop looking the other way. Tonight, Local 15's Darwin Singleton is talking trash and what we as citizens and as a city can do about it in this Local 15 reality check. Frequently, we bring you stories of problems that must be solved by those we've elected to serve us. But not this time. We're talking trash, litter. And the power to solve this blight is literally in your hands. Some people have a deep if you're a baby boomer, there's a very good chance you'll remember this public service announcement. And even if you're not from that generation, you'll quickly understand its message. People start pollution. People can stop it. This PSA triggered America's consciousness about litter and led to cleanups and environmental awareness. But there's one thing about trash that hasn't changed since then. It has a curious way of always turning up. Look at the cigarette butts. There's no way I can get the cigarette butts. I don't even know what to do with these. I can see why some people would give up. Because one person can't do all this. Are we really this dirty, this nasty? Do we just not care? Or do we just not think? All they want to do is get rid of this hamburger wrapper, mm -hmm. or a cigarette butt, mm -hmm. or a plastic cup. And Bob Haskins should know. For 24 years, he's been leading the charge at Keep Mobile Beautiful, a city agency that fights to get its message heard and its mission accomplished. Litter is not a, a stationary object. It will blow somewhere eventually. Yeah. Or it will get washed down a storm drain and end up in a creek or a stream or Mobile Bay or the Gulf of Mexico. And the people around this table don't like that one bit. And that's why they volunteer to be active commissioners for Keep Mobile Beautiful, fighting to keep their street, their neighborhood, their apartment complex cleaner. Arnold McDaniels was a sanitation worker for Long Island, New York for two decades. He's been a Keep Mobile Beautiful commissioner for six years. The people that worked hard for their homes, paying mortgages and stuff like that, they have to fight against this, and they're, right, they're not really getting no help. But they are about to. This man is about to become one of KMB's biggest crusaders. Absolutely. I mean, if I'm walking down the street and there's a piece of litter, we will pick, I will pick it up. Yeah. I will pick it up. Yes, I'll pick it up. Mobile's new mayor, Sandy Stimson, says he's ready to talk trash. Stimson says laws are already on the books. It's a matter of enforcing them. Especially if it has to do with fining people. They've got to be uh, made to pay the fines. And I think for so long that that's just kind of fallen through the cracks. And we've got to have a system in place where it doesn't fall through the cracks. Now, people have said that before and then it doesn't happen. You're going to make it happen? Yes, we will make this happen. And soon, there could be even more laws against litter. Remember a moment ago how Bob Haskins told us trash blows from one place to another, sometimes winding up in the Gulf of Mexico. Well, it's true. And one of the biggest offenders, big parking lots of big stores where trash blows freely. And now the city of Mobile is having to come up with a solution. So says City Council Member Gina Gregory, who says the parking lot problem will have to be addressed to satisfy the state, who's grown weary of the city's stormwater pollution problems. Now, a business owner may say, well, we didn't cause the problem, but yet the problem is on your parking lot, on your property. Therefore, it is our contention that it's your responsibility to pick it up, because you know what happens to the trash that's left. But everyone agrees the best way to fight litter in Mobile is to convince Mobilians to keep their city clean. Not because they have to, but because they want to. And that might be the biggest challenge of all. People start pollution. People can stop it. This is not over. I plan to continue talking trash well beyond this report, frequently bringing you updates and stories of Mobilians just like you who are working hard to minimize litter in our city. I hope you will join the trash talk too.